metabolic issues, you know, fat, overweight, cresty neck horses. It's almost like an epidemic today. It's unbelievable how many overweight horses we have today. I think there's a lot of factors involved in it uh, and the cause of it. The number one factor is, is, is these processed fats in feed. Your hydrogenated, filtered, processed fats. Every cell in the body is surrounded by fat. Fats are critical. The, the brain, most of the brain is made up of fat. The spinal cord is mostly fat. And we're feeding our horses a tremendous amount of hydrogenated fats. You've heard about them in the news for yourself. Things like, you've heard of trans fats for sure. Well, our horses are being bombarded with this stuff every day through commercial feeds. And it's creating a situation called insulin resistance. It's creating these metabolic issues. Now you can call them whatever you want, insulin resistance, metabolic, whatever. Uh, and they lead to laminitis, they lead to hypothyroidism and so on and so forth. But fats are a big problem with it. Your sugars in your feed are another problem. Your molasses, your corn. Corn has the same glycemic index as sugar. You know, a person gets up for breakfast and the first thing he does is, uh, in today's time is has a bowl of cereal or some type of, maybe even a donut, heaven forbid. But you have a donut, up goes the sugar. Imagine a horse having a grain meal that's full of sugar, full of corn, full of molasses, up goes the sugar. A little bit later, what happens? You have a sugar low. Well, people, what do they do? If they have a break from work, usually about 10.30, they go have a high fructose corn syrup soft drink, which is awful. I mean, fructose is worse than sugar, but it gets the sugar back up in the bloodstream because the body's starving to death and they needed it, and you have the sugar high, sugar low, another sugar high. Imagine with these sugar low down here, your horse was trying, you're trying to train your horse in the morning but on a sugar low. You know how you feel with a sugar low? Not very good. So the point is, anything that you can do to avoid the sugar high and sugar low, the less you're going to have metabolic issues. Sugar high causes insulin resistance. The body produces insulin to take care of the sugar. Sugar low affects the adrenal glands. They're stressed. They're, the body's starving to death, so it wears the adrenal glands out. Sugar high, sugar low, sugar high all day long for our horses, for us, just because of that first sugar meal of the day wears us out, wears us out metabolically, so we have no reserves left. You know, along comes a little stress, a change in grass, maybe an increase in the sugar from the grasses from a change uh, in the weather, bar barometric change, or a change in the minerals from the, from the fertilizer to get sucks up in the grass or bring you know, for more water in the grass. Anyway, any kind of change, it's stress from a, a trailer ride, a stress from going to a show, they have no reserves left because they've already wore them out just from the sugar highs and sugar lows. So how do you avoid these? How do you avoid these problems? Or how do you treat them? First thing is look at the change in diet. And that alone many times will do it. You know, get them off the commercial feeds with the junk fats and the sugars. Consider just oats. In my opinion, oats has just been miraculous for us. Just plain old oats. But you got to make oats complete just like you do anything else. Um, no feed today is complete. No mineral no, or no, um, no grain of any kind is complete. You have to fortify those grains with vitamins and minerals. The typical thing with these fat, overweight, cresting neck horses is you cut down on their feed. That's the first thing you normally do with an overweight horse, and I'm sure you'll agree with that. But let's say you were feeding them that commercial feed, not feeding them most, but just the typical commercial feed. That feed's designed for a certain amount of feed to deliver a certain amount of these minerals and so on that were added to it, minerals, vitamins, and so on. If you cut down on his feed, let's say from five pounds to one pound, he's getting one-fifth of the vitamins, enzymes, probiotics that he would really need for that size horse. And therefore, because he's not getting what he needs, vitamins and minerals and so on wise, he's getting one maybe one-fifth of what he should be getting that negatively affects the metabolism even more so that fat, overweight, cresty neck horse even becomes more fat and overweight and cresty neck, more of an easy keeper, so to speak. So the key is oats, feed them whatever amount you need to, add the supplements right to those oats, and then they're getting the fortification that they need for that particular horse. I hope that makes sense. But the Just Add Oats is what you do that with. You add that to the oats. Uh, it gets them complete. Just follow the directions on the label. The H2 oil gets the fats back in the diet. Uh, the omega-3, the good fats, the, non, the non-processed or hydrogenated fats. This is crude, unrefined, unprocessed uh, soybean oil. It's just been tremendous for us. We even have a GMO-free version called Weight Check. Uh, that's even... 
uh, a little stepped up version and for these fat overweight cresty neck torsos it's actually a better product seems to be working better for us a little bit of fat helps them burn fat you know you can give them too much fat please don't use corn oil and things like that that's the wrong fat that's the hydrogenated processed fats but um, get the vitamins minerals right to the oats get the fat right to the oats that that's your diet and then the other thing is um, picking up where mother nature might be able to help and that's what the red cow does it's a natural source of salt the mineral free choice all they can eat all the time throw away the salt blocks and mineral blocks uh, that's going to go a long way just in itself to help these fat overweight cresty neck horses and then we have one more product to kind of get them over the hump it's called critical care uh, overweight insulin resistance formula it's pricey it, it, it's very expensive but unbelievable in its effects you won't need it forever but it will get them over the hump uh, to where these other products have a chance to kick in and do their job. Uh, and it, it can be treated, it can be, they can be helped, no question. I don't care what the metabolic issue is. Almost every situation is gonna be helped just from changing the, the commercial feed to oats, making those oats complete with the Just Add Oats and the oil and getting rid of the salt blocks and mineral blocks and feeding them free choice, the red cow. So uh, don't hesitate to call us. I appreciate you being here today.